Hi guys, Tex Bark here with another video review. This time we'll be looking at the Star Wars The Clone Wars, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Anakin Skywalker and Mace Windu. Uh, I picked these figures up on eBay, they cost me about £3 each. They didn't come in any boxes or anything so I don't know what type of figure it is. All I know it's about, I think it's 6 inches, I think, yeah, I think it's about 6 inches. Um, I believe this is the one from Clone Wars, although it looks like the movie one, I could be wrong. Uh, but I've got them all for £3 each and again, because I'll get onto the why the, the can't stand properly. Um, it's due to part of my um, review area, but it's also to do with the figure's feet. But anyway, here they are, uh, I think the 6 inch figures, so to get the size comparison straight out of the way, here is the Black Series Darth Vader, there you go, you can see, he's a little bit tall, then I think it's Okay. Um, yeah, um, I always wanted to collect this line, but I couldn't because I couldn't afford it and the, the line had disappeared, but, um, and they've been replaced by the um, <coughs> Rebels, but here it is, um, here's over on Kenobi. Switch the light on there so you can see it. Here's over on Kenobi, and you can see it is, it sort of captures the uh, animated piece for him, um, kind of looks like that. Sculpting's okay, the, the colour and the head and everything is okay. Um, so, yeah, um, it does come with a lightsaber. Uh, but the lightsaber I got, it was oh, heavily worn, so I had to repaint it. Uh, but the silver hasn't taken properly, so I have to repaint it again. But this whole handle piece was this colour, because the whole colour and it's slightly bent. But I can easily fix that myself. You can hold it in either hand, as you can see. You just step it in place. There you go. Um, not much of the detail on it. It's got a peg on his back for some for something proper to fit into vehicles. Um, there's, there's some good wearing detail. Now I thought this was dirt on my part, but it actually isn't. It's actually all uh, like battle scars and dirt on it, which is really really good for a figure this size. You've got some skirt scars on the back here. You can't even see it. Scars on the back here. All this isn't actually dirty, it's actually in on the figure, which is really, really cool. All his armour and everything. All that. This is all rubber, so you can move it all, but his articulation is pretty cool. His head's on a wall track, you can look side to side. It kind of looks up and down, kind of, um, due to his hair at the back. He can't. Shoulders are on pin and swivels. He has a pin and swivel in his elbow as well, so you get movement is uh, wrists on the swivel. No waist, oh, yeah, the waist articulation, it didn't look like it happened there. Waist articulation, but he does rub against the rubber tunic there, um, and his legs move forward and back only. Nothing at the knee, um, yeah, there's nothing at the knee, which is a bit we a bit unfortunate, and that's the reason, and not with the feet, that's the reason why you can't really get him to stand properly. Um, especially on a surface like mine, it just doesn't want to do it. Anakin stands a little bit better. Put his lightsaber back into his hand, like so. Oh, not put his hand. Put it over there if you can you walk stand. Uh, look at Anakin Skywalker next. As you see, it does look a lot like the um, animation model. Oh, his head seems to be a bit weird. No, not his head. His neck seems to be a bit weird. Um, but the detail all the way through is incredible. You've got the dirt and damage detail all the way through there. Um, his right glove is different to his left glove, obviously, because this is his uh, robotic hand. Um, all the details and stuff there. Proportion wise, are really good. Same as Obi Wan Kenobi. Um, his feet are a little bit better. As like, you can see, he's got a heel. And Obi Wan Kenobi doesn't, and he kind of stands a little bit better because his legs are in proportion. You don't, you don't have to really move them. Um, it comes with a lightsaber, but this one's painted a little bit better. It hasn't worn away or anything, but you got some. Trying to get some detail in there. You can see you got some great detail in there. The lightsaber, the black, 
some golden stuff and the actual blade that it's showing up on Kenobi has detail on it although I've been on Kenobi's blade is a light blue but there you go um, again you can hold it in both hands but because it's right handed it's going to hold it in his right hand basically um, he's got the same articulation as everyone can over that heads on a ball joint but again because of the next thing it looks weird uh, seeing he's got pin swivel joints in the shoulder but because of his shoulder armor here it's difficult to move over so be careful of that same joint same wrist waist articulation, articulation the legs and there's no in the knee but because his legs are, are separate separate a little bit better he will stand than Obi-Wan Kenobi so standing he, he can actually stand up about well now he is Mace Windu um, I think well the more I look at this I think he's actually um, part of the movie line because his articulation is completely different um, again he comes to the lightsaber but it, I think this lightsaber is actually from the uh, Clone Wars and the figure isn't because the figure is a little bit big the lightsaber is a little bit big for the figure but again cool figure from the movie line he can hold his lightsaber again and his lightsaber has got some great detail in there as well and you got detail all in there black detail no bad mother on it though but gold detail you know in there all the way through is Mace Windows lightsaber and he has some modern detail on the clear plastic there <coughs> so, and again, you can hold his lightsaber. Um, the lightsaber could be part of this figure, but this is a different figure to the Clone Wars. So, you can see it's kind of resembles Samuel Jackson, who played Miss Windu. Um, his articulation is slightly different to them, obviously, because he's got more and it's not part of the Clone Wars side. His head is on a ball joint, looks up and down, left and right. And again, his neck's a little bit thin as well, so his head looks weird. Um, it has pin sockets in his shoulders he has a, he bends at the elbow but only slightly because of all this molding detail of his um, jacket his wrist swivel uh, he's got like a hab, hab crunch sort of thing and there um, he bends at the knee nothing at the waist but he bends at the knee and has a swivel at the foot so a little bit better articulation in the legs than there and because you can move the feet you can probably get him to stand properly you get him to stand. there you go stand and yeah obviously can have pain in the ass to stand but you can get him to stand if you can't use a little bit of blue tack like i do <clears throat> a little bit of possibility and you can get him all to stand pretty well um spend a little bit more time doing it and you can actually do it um, yeah, <laughs> as long as you don't have one figure, um, yeah, he was put on my blue tap because I've been up his feet. I really had to um, pause, pull it, and he just knocked over like dominoes. But some the um, <clears throat> Mace Windu and Anakin can stand perfect, but Bill Kenobi needs a little bit of help. You could probably fix that by bending his legs a little bit because they're just they're really soft like rubber. <clears throat> But all in all, you can get the, um, them to stand a little bit of time. I definitely recommend getting these. They're really cheap on eBay. Um, I don't know what type of figures they are. All I know is that these two here are from the Clone Wars. And this is from, I think it's from either Episode 2 or Episode 3. I am not sure because I never collected the, the actual movie ones. Um, they're not Black Series because this is our favourite from the Black Series. And see, and everyone can only watch this, right? So, and he's a little bit taller. I, so, yeah, I definitely recommend getting these. These are really cheap online, and I'll be getting some more as well. <coughs> so, this is Tech Spark. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you really like these figures, please let me know in the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.